What's up, Technician? All right, guys, today we're going to teach you how to create a customized button on the iPhone. But as you can see, first thing I want to mention is at the top of my screen here, you can see, whoops, there at the top of my screen, this green box, you can see that Spotify, I think yesterday, just released its widget for iOS 14. And uh, you can go install that right now if you have iOS 14. If you don't, um, I'm going to show you, you don't need iOS 14 to do a customized button. As you can see right here, I have Tammy and I have OK Google. And I got my reminders on the screen. But let me show you how to customize a button. You got to go to your shortcuts. Before I can show any reminders for screen, you'll need to set up your family group. Can you stop? Say, set up my family. Stop. Stupid Google. Okay, so let's show you how to create a button. So you want to go to your shortcuts. You can just swipe down on your screen and do a search. Um, if your phone has shortcuts, then you can create one. So let's do that right now. I'm going to create a button that will call Jack, Jack Jr. Okay. I've already got a button that will call Tammy. So now I need one for Jack Jr. So hit shortcuts. What I did was I hit the plus sign in the upper right corner, the top plus sign, right next to the word select, and I hit the plus sign. Then it asked me to add an action. This is what you want the shortcut to do. So you click on add an action. I'm going to want to call Jack Scalfani, and Jack has kind of a gray icon for his face because when we went to iOS 13, people lost their identity icons, and they have to go back in and fix it, and they haven't. Jack Jr. is too busy. So we're going to select him, call him. All right. And then we're going to, I think we're going to click next. So we're doing a call Jack button next. And we're going to call it Jack Jr. Jr. Okay. Jack Jr. And hit done. Okay. Now see the, see where it says Jack Jr. Call Jack Jr. Right next to call Tammy. Now you want to hit the three dots menu on his his button, his shortcut. So go up to the three dots, hit his three dots once again. So you want to go to the three dots because we're not done with this button yet. I should have stayed in here and not hit done. So hit the three dots button, the menu button, and it's going to pop up this screen. Uh, do you want to show an Apple Watch? No, I don't want to show an Apple Watch. Show and share sheet? No. Uh, import questions? No. Uh, let's see here. Oh, so what you're going to do, I'm going to change the picture now. Okay. For Jack Jr. You see the purple square. That's just a random square they created for me for my shortcut button. Right. So I'm going to touch that and it gives me a bigger version. You can change the colors. See how it changes the colors. This is a shortcut icon or you can, I believe there's a way, let me try glyph. You can upload your your own symbols. I can't remember. There's a way I can customize this. I can't remember how. Hold on. Objects. Nope. Symbol. People. I don't remember how to get this going. Hold on a second. Uh, done. Let's go with, I'm going to go with a yellow for now. I'm going to change this to his picture. Hold on. I forgot. Oh, I hit add to home screen. That's it. When you hit add to home, home screen, excuse me, can't even speak. Hit the add to home screen button. And you'll see right there, it's a preview, right? So we're going to touch the top big one where it says Jack Jr. The preview. Nope. Can we touch the yellow? There's a way to, let's touch one of the icons right there. Choose photo. There we go. So you touch the smaller icon. Okay, and then you say, choose photo. So I'm gonna choose photo. And I use this this one right here for Jack Jr. I always have since he was a little kid because it made him laugh when he was a child. So let's choose that picture. So see how it puts the picture in? Now I got a button that's got, that I use that icon for Jack on my phone all the time. So uh, that's Jack Jr.'s uh, kind of avatar or whatever. Now you hit add, okay, you hit add, and it added it to the home screen, and hit done, 
and hit done. I go to your home screen and there he is right there. Okay. And there's his button. So if I want to call him, I would tap it and it will call his phone. It's already been linked. So I told it I wanted to do a phone call, call Jack. And then I gave it the picture and that's it. And it's not an iOS 14 thing. This is something people don't understand, but you can make these custom buttons if you have iOS 13. Uh, as long as you've got the shortcuts capability, you can create shortcuts to people, things, actions, all over your... You can make your own buttons for everything. You can make a button for Instagram, for Facebook, for Snapchat. You can change the button look. Okay? So I got, I got my uh, Tammy button there. I got my Jack Jr. button there. And that is how you customize a button on the iPhone.